Hi, welcome back to SAB Business Object Processing Framework Series. So in the last session, we implemented the determination to generate, auto-generate the order ID for our business object. So now we go and test that whether the determination is working as per our expectation. Let's open the business object export eco to no, check our class, a determination class, and open our business object and expand the node element, no node elements, and the root node and the determination, and open our class and the execute method. So we have a logic implemented. So we have a prefix to add it to our number. And we do the concatenation based upon the you know, max number, whatever we get it, and we concatenate with the prefix and add that as order number in uh, to our framework. So that's a implementation we done it. And let's go back and in this another session, open our test business object test P code. Um, and let's see whether we have any entry on this uh, business object. So let's clean up this data because you now you have you no know, randomly entered some number, so it's all our character, so it will not work as we as per expectation. Let's clean these entries first. So select all the entries and log our business object, then you can do uh, you no. Know, delete the entries so now we are clear all the so we deleted all the entries let's start inserting the new record yes the first instance let's do this um uh, auto id plus zero one phone number i go with nine zero eight seven six five four three two one and I put it auto ID zero one at the rate of gmail dot. Okay, so now we press the so this determination, whatever we modeled it, it's on the the time point is we mentioned it's a before save so before saving that we draw the number that's the way we model the determination so we have to um, no we can press save here let's see yes the numbers are generated with the prefix whatever we added and then we have some kind of a running number here to differentiate let's add another entry similarly just to ensure that the numbers are getting correctly okay so i put it auto id 002 that yes 9807653 and i say auto id 002 rate of gmail.com Yes, let's press save. See that this number is getting increased one after other. So it's automatically coming in the right order to have the another test. Make sure that now we don't have any issue like this. Okay, so that's working fine. Okay, that's working fine. So this is a way we can test our determination. So we are getting the number correctly. Let's do a small test in the mass creation. So let's add a couple of entries. One, two, three. Okay, so I have a three entry which I inserted. So three entries 
and I'm putting that as a um, just to you know um, have something to be mentioned five and this goes with uh, six or maybe I will put it with the second customer for the same customer and I'll put the phone number same this guy I go with the phone number different phone number And this guy go with a different phone number and I fill it auto ID 002 at the rate of gmail dot com copy that we try to you know if you have the multiple um, instance are we able to um, generate the number correctly you know as per our logic so we created three entries and we want to uh, save this now let's see how this number is getting generated let's save this see that yeah you can see it's always going with the running number yeah so our determination is working as per our expectation so thank you so in the next session we see how we can you now control the property of our order id field thank you